Hey star seeds. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lavender Lay. Uh, I'm a tarot reader here on YouTube. Even though I'm very infrequent with my tarot readings, I'm trying to be better about it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, today's reading is going to be what's blocking you in love. Um, so we're going to just look into I'm going to pull some cards to see like what the themes are around like your blockage like what's blocking you right now um we'll pull some tarot cards to get some more like in-depth um messages about like why these things may be blocking you um and then we'll also pull some oracle cards for any like final advice that kind of thing so if that's what you're looking for then can go ahead and um go down to the description box and we've got three piles to pick from um the what is this called this is the beltane oracle um i forget what this oh it's right in front of me the seasons of the witch beltane oracle um this is the below the surface oracle um, by Vanessa Samina. She's also a tarot reader here on YouTube. Totally check her out. Love her readings. Um, and I also have the Pastel Journey uh, tarot deck by her as well. So take a moment. You can pause the video. Whichever deck is calling to you the most. Um, Timestamps will be down below. And if you're looking for any personal readings, uh, my Etsy shop is linked down below as well. So yeah, let's get into it. Hey, Pile One, if you picked the Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle, or the deck, basically the deck that has the bees on it, um, then this is your reading. Um, what's blocking you in love? I'm going to pull the Messages of Love Tarot, or not love, no, Oracle deck, not tarot, um, to see like what are the themes around your like blockage like what kinds of things are blocking you right now um and then we'll pull tarot to see more in depth so pile one what's blocking pile one in love right now and thank you spirit and this is my spirit guides and your spirit guides for providing this message today let's see we've got one we've got overwhelmed the stress from this is draining me what is blocking pile one right now that's too many what is blocking pile one right now listening to music in my headphones right now um and the song that just came on is burn by usher so if you want to look that up um there might be a message in there for you but the journal feeling that i get from this song is like i gotta let this go like i can't i can't keep holding on to this um Spirit, please. I'm hurting, baby. I ain't happy, baby. I think that you should let it burn. Yep, we've got escape. <laughs> oh, oh, that just gave me chills. 
Okay, so just to go over what the cards are again. We've got overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. Regret. I wish this never happened. Values. We have too many differences. And escape. I left when things got when things got too hard. Well, the message is cl clear from spirit. You gotta let this burn. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're in a relationship right now. It kind of feels like you are, or like, if it's not like a relationship, like a situationship of some sort. Um, I, j I just feel like you guys are in a state of like, you regret even entertaining this you feel overwhelmed by everything in this in this relationship situationship thing um like you really feel like there's just like you want to escape but maybe you feel like there's just a bit of confusion within this within the situation with it within whatever is going on in your love life right now and so it's like you want to escape but you don't feel like you can't really like there might be something holding on holding you in this like situation um but it also could just be like maybe now that you've gotten into this relationship or situationship you realize like nah this can't work like i regret getting into this like we don't have we have so many differences like maybe you thought of like oh opposites attract but it's like this is like too many opposites i can't work with this um and so i feel like you guys are just mm, <laughs> You're trying to like navigate this to where things can become clearer. Like you just you just want some clarity. Maybe that's why you're you know watching a tarot reading. You want some clarity on like the situation and like what's going on here and like should you leave? Should you go? Spirit saying yes, <laughs> which is based on the song that they played for me. Um, Ugh. sorry hold on i gotta okay the song that just came on was rise up by andre day and i'm going to read you the first the first lyrics that were on for the song in case you don't know what the song is or have never heard of it. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round and you can't find the fighter, but I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out. And I feel like that's like, maybe like, that's where you're at right now is like, I am so tired of this. Like, I just can't do this anymore. Like, or even if, if like, if you're in like a, um, if you're, somebody who doesn't resonate with being in like a relationship or situation right now and you're just single maybe you're just like you're over you're completely over um this current dating scene because i feel you on that like this the dating scene these days is just it's overwhelming it's like it's just so awful you hate being in it and it's like but you, at the same time, you don't want to give up because it's like your person could still be out there. I just feel like it's so much harder to navigate being in this, like the way that um, this dating scene, like how things work and like love these days, like you hate being in the on the dating apps it's still so hard to just meet do like uh to meet somebody like in person or whatever like oh if you're going out places like it's still hard to meet somebody decent that way and so it's like 
you want to like you want to escape like the card says you like I, I left when things forgot hard and like this is really hard to like to define love these days but it's like you still have like a bit of fight in you and you don't want to give that up which I don't blame you because it's just like there's still certain things like you may want for your life and it's like and it's just a matter of finding the right person but yeah i just have to read those lyrics to you because i was like oh this feels relevant but i'm gonna let the song continue to play but, um, so let's see Spirit is going to tell us about this situation, about these blockages in your life. I need to learn how to shuffle, but <laughs> my hands are so small. Um, but yeah, can you tell us more about this blockage in Pile One's life, Spirit? Ooh. We've got the tower and the four of pentacles. What more can you tell us about this spirit, please? of swords hmm. got the three of pentacles and the ace of pentacles and the back of the deck is the four of swords okay I feel like spirit is saying the reason why you have this block is because you have you're holding on to like a specific idea of maybe what you're wanting in a relationship and you've been holding on to it for so long that spirit is now going to be bringing in like a tower into your life which i know the tower can be really scary it's like if you if you know about um tarot cards then a lot of people fear the tower card because it means like sudden abrupt change but this is change that you are going to need because spirit is trying to show you that you you really have something that's so good that's going to come into your life if you could just let go of this pentacle right here and move on with the six of the six of swords because you can see she's in a little paper boat thing because there's something you're going to be offered that's so much better than whatever idea that you have in your mind that you're holding on to and it's just like and i feel like that's that's why you have such a blockage is because you you are so gung-ho about having having this idea like having this specific idea in your in your love life that you that you're essentially blocking the blessing that spirit wants to bring in for you that the universe wants to bring in for you and to that i say it's you might be feeling overwhelmed but it's time to let that go whatever this is it's time to let it go let it go and just be like all right spirit universe god whomever you believe I'm letting this go and I'm ready to receive whatever it is that you have in store for me. Actually, like, I would love if you would pause the video right now and say that, like, out loud. Spirit, I'm going to let this go and I am ready to receive whatever you have in store for me. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit's funny. Um, the song At Last by, um, 
by Etta James just came on. My love has come alone. Spirit is saying at last. Like once you let this go, they're like at last. Yes. <laughs> at last you finally let this go. And I love that. And your lonely days are over. Yes. Oh my God. That's beautiful. I love that for y'all. That's what Spirit has in store for you. Is like... When you finally, at last, you let this go. Let go of this idea. Let go of this person that might be in your life. Let go of just your expectations around your love life. And, like, the way that you want things to turn out. Because it could be just be like, oh, yeah, like, I... Let, okay, let me let me backtrack. This is not to say that you can't have what you want like what you want maybe just a simple like i want to meet somebody i want to get married and have kids or if you don't want kids like get a dog together or something like that um like that is which i think is perfectly fine like if that's like literally just what all you want but there might be certain expectations that you have of like the person that you want it may be like a specific idea in your mind like, oh, he's got to be above six six foot. He's got to, or I'm saying he, but, you know, because I'm imagining that most of my audience is women, mostly, you know, straight women. But, um, but take that as, like, you know, fit it to where, like, your situation, like, oh, she's got to be, you know, under 5'5", five five. she can't weigh more than 130 pounds, which is really shallow. But uh, anyways, moving on, moving on. But like, that's what I mean. Like, you want them to look a certain way. You want them to dress a certain way. You want them to like be a certain kind of like thing. And it's like, spirit is like, if you would just let that go, I could provide you with everything you could ever want and more, right? If you just let go of like your life could only be complete unless you have, and can't be complete unless you have a sp a person who check like checks all the boxes in like a specific image, right? So that's what's yeah. You're gonna have to go into a rest period for this first as well because we've got the four of swords in the back of the deck um because the four of swords usually asks like is some sort of like state of rest uh like you can even see like this person oh we got the five of swords behind it we've got this person and she's like kind of like in a meditative state kind of thing i don't think like once you let this go person like this idea or this person or whatever it is for your situation i feel like once you let them go this is going to be yeah you might have like a period of like a period of wait but i don't think you'll have to wait that long because it's like i feel like it, it feels almost like that spirit has been waiting to bring this person into your life and they're just like I just need them to let this one thing go and then I can just make everything happen in divine timing so I really feel like the sooner that you let this go the sooner that this person this situation or whatever can come in spirit can bring this person into your life it's really just up to you yeah so Let's get some final cards. Spirit, can I get any final advice for pile one, please? Any final advice for pile one? Almost like pile three. But, um, you might have felt called to pile three. You can watch that as well. Um, We've got 
unchangeable devotion. Where do your loyalties lie? And final advice spirit. I'm kind of hoping to pull through two more cards. Uh -huh. Thank you, spirit. We've got unexpected guest, someone who's visiting you soon, told you. Um, and you are electrifying. Allow your talent to do the talking. So I feel like spirit is asking you to be like, to reevaluate the relationships you have in your life right now, where do your loyalties lie? Are you being loyal to yourself, loyal to the friends you have in your life? Are do the people in your life right now deserve your loyalty? Like, are you absolutely sure that you that this relationship, friendship, or whatever is for your highest good? And essentially what I mean by that is like, can you trust this person that is in your life, this friendship, whatever it is, can you trust them when things are like down, when things are down as well as up? Like they're not just around there, around you for the good times, they're around you in the bad. Um, because that's important like why would you want to be friends with somebody that only wants to be around you when you've got it good you know like and in the same breath like are you there for people when they're when they themselves are in a bad place like are you trying to be there for your friends like where do your loyalties lie um unexpected guests we've someone will be visiting you soon um I feel like that's just a message in itself that you'll be getting a visitor sometime soon. And then you are electrifying. Allow your talent to do the talking. You are a talented person. Whatever your talent is, you are a talented person. And I feel like that's something that you need to start expressing more in your life. Because there's something in whatever talent that you have that spirit would like you to express more and maybe because you and maybe because you express that talent more you might be find you might find this person that you know spirit wants to bring into your life like maybe that's how you guys come together just me speculating but um yeah just some numbers that may be significant for you we've got number 39 27 26 and 16 as well as three and four. Um, that could be somebody's birthday, um, like their date, date of birth could be this 27th or the 26th. Mine is the 26th, April 26th. Um, it could be the 16th, it could be the 4th, it could be the 3rd. Um, your birthday could be those days. Um, but yeah. So that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this reading. Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, my Etsy shop is down below. Um, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, tell me what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. Or you could also tell me about this situation you got going on here. Tell me like what you plan to be le letting go of, etc. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't hit the miss my next video. But yeah, thank you guys so much again for tuning into this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, pile two! If you picked the below the surface uh, oracle deck, then this is your reading. Um. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We're going to get right into it with pulling from the Messages of Love Oracle deck to see what are the themes of your blockage. So pile two, what are the themes of pile the blockages in a pile two's love life?
We've got self-love. Ooh, new chapter. We've got mend and regret. Spirit said two more. We've got damage and unfinished business. Interesting. Also, I'm playing music in uh, uh, my headphones right now. So I may be, I'm gonna be pulling like channeled messages from the music that pops up as well. Um, the song that just came on is Discipline by Janet Jackson. Y'all can listen to that on your own. Um, I don't want YouTube to take <laughs> this video down. Um, it's a very, it's a very uh, risque song. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna get into these. So we've got self-love, I'm still trying to heal. New chapter, I'm trying to move on. Mend, I want to fix our connection. Regret, I wish this never happened damage we are both hurting from this and unfinished business we still have things to resolve and discuss i feel like the blockage that's happening in your life right now in your love life is that there is somebody from your past that you are still trying to move on from like there is something that happened to where like Things just did not, things just happened in a way that were like, ooh. There's just like so many things that like need closure. <laughs> and it's just like, you're doing your best to heal. Maybe you're in therapy right now. And it's like a part of you like regrets that may maybe a part of you regrets that something made things end but at the same time you're just like i need to move on from this anyways but like i would love to continue this like it sounds very complicated like it's just i have like a complicated feeling within my body that I can't really, like, I can't pinpoint what it is. I'm just gonna... And it's like, you're trying your best to move on, but I feel like because there is this unfinished business, like, there's some things from this relationship that you you and this person need to resolve that it's like kind of preventing you it's what's causing the blockage in your love life is because you can't until you have this resolved it's like you feel like you can't completely move on which honestly that kind of sucks because it's just like you're doing all this healing you know <laughs> and it's like you've worked on yourself love you love yourself even more and it's like you're, you're doing all the things to like work on yourself and do the great things and it's like this is like the one last hurdle that you have and that has to be like so frustrating you know and it's like you're trying to get over these regrets you're trying to just mend yourself you're trying to like repair the damage you're trying to just literally all the words <laughs> And it's like, but this person just keeps coming back into your mind or things, there's like things that remind you of them that keep popping up. Their name keeps appearing everywhere. And it's like, and it gets you thinking about that person again. For one thing I can tell you is that if this is happening to you, it might be happening to this person probably not in the exact same way but it just feels like that's what the energy is it's like you 
y'all still feel a pull to each other. I feel like, cause there's a lyric in the song and it's like, take out your frustrations on me. And it's for a different reason, but you know, um, I feel like, I feel like for you guys, it was like, maybe the reason why you guys ended it was just, just because, you know, like things ended because you were unable to communicate in a way that was like conducive to you guys being able to continue the relationship. Like you were taking your frustrations out on each other. You were fighting you were doing all these things and it's just like you were hurting each other and that's why you had to separate but it's like you still feel that pull like you want to be together like everything it's like almost like everything else was like great but just that one thing the song that just came on is pretty wings by maxwell Yes, it's Maxwell. It was my affection had to fill up the prescription for the remedy. I had to set you free. Yeah, this person had to set you free, or you had to set them free. Yeah, hold on. I have to read those lyrics to you guys. I had to live, I had to live, I had to leave, I had to leave. But the lyrics I wanted to read out to you. Had to fill up my prescription, found the remedy, I had to set you free away from me to see clearly the way that love can be when you are not with me. I can't have you let love set you free to fly your pretty wings around so yeah you and this person needed to like or it could be just like you in this situation or something it doesn't have to necessarily be a person either it's just like you had to let this go to see what love really could be like and I feel like that love is like the self-love um, I forgot to continue playing the song, but, um, spirit is bringing me to the lyrics. I should have showed you better nights, better times, better days. I miss you more and more. I just feel like there's so much regret between the two of you. I really truly feel like this is going to be a group of like you and this person are in separation of some sort. The word twin flames just came into my head, but I... I hesitate to say that because it's just like not everybody's in a twin flame relationship but um or has like a twin flame in their life but yeah let's let's go ahead and pull tarot <laughs> spirit can you tell us more about this blockage that's in pile twos got the three of wands in reverse we've got the judgment card we've got the three of swords yeah heartbreak Ooh. okay too much all right we've got the chariot the hierophant a lot of major arcanas Ooh. okay i take back what i said about this Y'all might be twin flames. 
And we've got the Knight of Wands. Let's see. Back of the deck is the Six of Wands. I, I'm going to pull the book for this because I feel like there's probably going to be a better message for this than... So we've got the Three of Wands in reverse. So, through making the necessary adjustments and rigorously re reviewing your work, you can confidently open up to others about what you've been working on, but beware that even though you meticulously planned everything, there might be might still be unforeseen delays or mishaps. Try not to let that ruin your mood and continue to follow the path that inspires you. So I feel like this, this is referring to, because, you know, of course this came out on the self-love card, you might be ready to show people like, hey, this is what I've worked on in like therapy or just like doing like self-help books and stuff like that. This is what I've worked on. This is what I've gotten through. And it's like, you might be ready to like show that to other people and like open up about it. But just remember that even though you've, you might have like a specific plan in like your head about like about how you want to go about showing like hey this is how much I've grown and all this other stuff just know that it's not going to turn out the way that you might have it planned in your head there might be some stuff that happens like maybe you go you try to go back to that person you know and you show them like hey I've grown this person might not have grown oh my god <laughs> all right spirit literally did this next song literally is can we talk by tevin tevin campbell i really want to call him kevin campbell for some reason but tevin campbell which i'm just like oh wow well, can we talk literally you might want to go back to this person and be like hey can we talk about this um But just know that like I feel like what it is is that you may be you might be ready but this person might not be and that might end up and if you go like try to like mend this and go back to them a little too early you might be faced with like a kind of like a rude awakening of like hey I worked on myself but this person is still the same like so I think, I think it's like, you need to be in a place of like, okay, I'm just, I may have worked on myself, but I need to wait until this person has worked on themselves as well. Let's see, the judgment. When judgment appears, know that you are being called to step into a new cycle in your life, which allows you to fully embrace your individuality. Thanks to your higher self's awakening, almost as though you're going through a spiritual rebirth, reflection and reevaluation come naturally. You can make adjustments that reflect who you truly are and renew certain parts of your life accordingly. It is not unusual for judgment to appear in your life in the form of a wake-up call or divine intervention. This might, come as first, might come, first come as a shock to you, but sooner rather than later, you will understand precisely why you've been propelled to step into a new phase of, li of your life. Ultimately, judgment is a favor favorable card, indicating that you, you are making sound decisions in your life and are mature enough to reflect on your actions and decisions. When this card appears, any challenges you encounter along the way are easily resolved as you've learned from the past and are using those life, life, life lessons forward. Keep this fabulous energy going and ignore the haters. They will always exist no matter what you do. You simply cannot please everyone, so you might as well focus on pleasing yourself first. So yeah, I feel like that's the state that you're getting into. You've worked on yourself and now you're in like this space of like, I have really come into who I am as a person and you're healing yourself from this heartbreak that you've experienced with this person maybe and you're learning with the chariot you're learning to move forward and just keep on going I'm going to read the hierophant
The Hierophant indicates that you're no longer simply a follower. Your understanding goes far beyond that. Any groups or organizations attempting to pressure you into believing that their way is the only way are underestimating how rebellious you can be. Sure, you can find you find pleasure in certain traditions and rituals, but you are your own person with an independent mind. You choose to live by whatever truth resonates with your core beliefs, not what not by what society or a group of people tell you to think. Breaking free from the norm often means that you will have to deal with some repercussions. Le lean on your divine wisdom and remain open-minded. That way others will feel will feel heard while you honor your authenticity. You know what you're doing and why you believe in what you do. Trust yourself. I feel like that's the whole point of like this blockage is that spirit block that's like you are purposely being blocked because you needed to go through this growth process. You needed to grow through this this heartbreak. You needed to move on and you needed to find your true self. No longer, you know, people pleasing, no longer, you know, doing things because that's just what's the norm. You're doing things. Spirit wanted you to start doing things for yourself for the sake of doing it for yourself. I think that's so freaking beautiful. I love that for you guys. Like, no matter what happened in the situation before, you have, it's propelled you into a place of truly feeling like feeling like you truly love yourself and doing things for yourself and i love that for you guys that is absolutely beautiful <laughs> it's got me crying and throwing up um but let's see what the knight of wands it's ten of wands there you go you are full of energy and are driven to take immediate action. You're being surrounded by restlessness, restless and headstrong energy, which helps you get things done rather than resorting to merely speaking about what potentially lies ahead. The Knight of Wands usually bears good news and can be trusted with challenging tasks. They are a visionary filled with wonderlust and passion. At this time, a big happy event is in the works for you. Ooh! Uh, therefore, you must allow the universe to do its job while you focus on your personal responsibilities. Focus on manifesting your dreams into reality, as right now your professional life and your love life are in favorable, favorable environments. This is a fertile time for you to obtain everything you desire, both materially and spiritually speaking. Yes. See, you're in this space for a reason. You need it. You were projected into this for a reason because spirit, the universe, have so something so grand for you coming. And so, don't I say don't worry about what happened here because things are going to be working out in a way that can be that will be so helpful to you and your life. Like profession, like it said, professionally and your love life. So let's get some final advice from Spirit. Any final advice for Pile Two, please, Spirit? Right now, the song that's playing is "Into You" by Fabulous and Ashanti. Dun -dun. I can't really explain it as I want to. You've got control issues. Let it go. Yeah, spirit is telling you, like, hey, we've got this. Let this go. <laughs> Again, we've got where do your unchanging, unchangeable devotion, where do your loyalties lie? That pops up in pile one. yourself out in one sprint and go for it strike while the iron is hot 
So I feel like Spirit's advice to you is to let go of having control over this whole situation. Just keep on focusing on yourself, you know, what you have, what things you can control about yourself versus like what's going on around you. Don't burn yourself out, you know, take things one day at a time. Eat, or even if you need to take one hour at a time you know there's no need to like rush everything um, but there's going to be something that happens where you're going to need to strike when the iron is hot like not necessarily that like if you don't that you're going to miss an opportunity but it's like if it's there why not take it it's kind of like the energy that I'm getting and also, you know, this is a good time to reevaluate the other relationships in your life, not just this one that that was in your life. You know, you've grown as a person, so it's just like, are the people around you also growing? Like, are you, and also in that same breath, like, are you encouraging those people in your life to, you know, grow as people just as much as you are growing? <laughs> that is to say, you can't force anybody to do anything, but, you know, you could just simply tell them like this could be like where you're telling them about like hey this is what i've been doing with my life and it could be inspirational to them but yeah that is your reading thank you guys so much for tuning in if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below tell me about um videos that you would like to see from me in the future like your reading ideas that you would like um I have a couple of ideas already that are in the works um, that I'll be posting soon. Um, but feel free to give me more. I would love that. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next video. If you're looking for a personal reading, my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. And yeah, thank you guys so much again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Hey group three, if you picked the Pastel Journey tarot deck, then this is your reading. We're going to get right into it with pulling cards to see what are the themes around your, uh, the blockage in your love life. So pile three, oops, blocking them in their love life right now. What's blocking pile three, spirit. Cards. You got dishonesty, chaser, and reci reciprocity. Also, I am listening to music in my headphones right now for ch more channeled messages. Um, the song that just came on is African Queen by Tubaba, which is like a major throwback. <laughs> You are my African queen, girl of my dreams. You might be African as well. I'm Kenyan, um, if y'all didn't know. And you are my African queen, girl of my dreams. You are my African on the ground ah! there we go we got disagreements one more card and we've got time so okay we've got Dishonesty, being lied be, by lying, I ripped us apart. Chaser, I don't want to chase anymore. Reciprocity, I want to have equal give and take. Disagreements, I wish you understood how I feel. And time, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. So I feel like the blockage in your guys' life right now is 
just the sheer amount of like I have a feeling that this might this group is my singles um which is really funny because group not to really spoil the other groups and if you plan to watch the other ones but group one was really about like somebody and their situationship or relationship group two was like two people in separation and y'all just feel like single and like and you're single almost on purpose because it's just like you're tired of like this dishonesty like you you just keep getting people that are dishonest you feel like you have to chase after them like you're not getting that equal give and take you, you feel like you're just not finding somebody who understands you and it's like or like they're just wasting your time <laughs> which period i know i understand like it's just that's just how things are going on like in this dating scene right now and i feel like that's like what's the blockage in your life is like simply just how society is right now but and it's like and it's not necessarily that you have anything to work on it's just simply the circumstances of like today and how our society is like there's really not to say there's no, there's nothing you can do but it's just like this this is like the cards you've been dealt literally <laughs> um and and it's you might be feeling like what more can i do and it's like i feel like that's just spirit's message to you is like there's nothing for you to do you just might have to like take a step back maybe um yeah it just might be time for you to like take a step back from all of this like enjoy your single life just um take yourself out on dates <laughs> I've been doing that lately. Like yesterday, I took myself out a date. I went to go see a movie. Um, go, got my nails done. Yes. Um, ran some errands and then went home and chilled out. Um, sorry, Fear just played a new song. Um, Lost Without You by Robin Thicke, which I'm just like. It feels like this is like, it's what you want. Somebody who yearns for you. We're the real yearners. That's what, <laughs> that's the real question. Where are the real yearners? Thank you. Um, thank you, spirit. But, um. It literally, you don't want this guy. You don't want that guy. It just... Oh. I lost my train of thought, but, um... It's just so hard, you know, to like be in this situation where it's like there's really not much that you can do except be you, be yourself, do do what makes you happy, you know? And it's like I don't want to give the advice of like, oh, love will come when it's when you, when you least expect it cuz I feel like that's such bullshit. Um cuz of course the only people that say that are people who are already in relationships and i'm like okay great that happened for you but you're you have no guarantee of that happening for me and i don't like perpetuating that also in my readings because it's just like that's not especially i'm i would say in this day and age it's not really realistic not anymore at least but um i'm just going to pull the tarot cards now because i don't have much else to say with like just this so spirit what else can you give us about the blockage in pile threes 
love life. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit is also giving me, hold on. If you are in a relationship and you're like not probably if you, are, if you are in a relationship you probably have already clicked off this video because you're just like oh this is where the single is she's they said so but um if you still stick around if you are in a relationship it could be that like you're in a space where it's just like you don't like where you are in your relationship right now like you don't feel understood you feel like you're having to beg for the stuff that you want like it's just you're in this place where it's like you're looking at this person that you're in a relationship with and it's like it's way too late for you to be doing these things now like but yeah wait knight of wands oh uh, not wands knight of pentacles in reverse what else is blocking pile threes of life spirit got the four of swords yeah, like I said before, this might be just a time of the, like, you enjoying your, um, what is it called? Your single life, if you are single. You've got the chariot and the two of wands. One more card. We've got the princess of swords, which is the page of swords. And we've got the sun in the back of the deck. Love that. All right. I like to say one of the things that I've learned well when learning to read tarot cards is that when the sun comes into your reading, which I don't know if you can see that, oh well, you can't, but um, it brightens up and it makes like, even if you have like some of the most negative quote unquote cards in the deck show up in your reading, it still makes, it still brightens up or makes the reading a little, a lot more positive because it's like, yeah, you might be going through all these things, but there's some, there's some happiness at the end of this or like, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. Um, I truly feel like y'all need to get into a space of, I'm enjoying my single life. I'm enjoying myself in not worried about, <laughs> this is so funny but literally what popped into my head is there's this this song that glorilla that's of glorilla's um that's been trending on tiktok i need her to release a song so bad but it literally goes it's 7 p.m friday it's 95 degrees i ain't got no and no got me and that's the kind of energy that you need to be in that's that's the energy that you need to be in right now <laughs> like literally you're out on a saturday uh, not a saturday a friday night or something and you ain't got you ain't worried about no you ain't worried about a partner or whatever or the trials and tribulations that come with that um you're not worried about the stresses of dating and nothing nothing like that nothing of the sort you are just out you could be out with your your boys your girls your people and you're just having a good old time you could be traveling maybe there's like something um maybe if you've been thinking about taking a trip somewhere because we've got the cherry as well that if you've been thinking about taking a trip take that trip book that flight take that road trip do something you need to get out of the surround your current surroundings so like if you've been like the past like couple of months you haven't really gone anywhere like um outside of like just your general city um wherever you live you need to get out like take a little day trip or you know take like a full-on vacation or something you need to get out and just do something for yourself like take a girl's trip take a boy's trip something you know i feel like that would be better for you instead of just sitting there like doing the day-to-day -day, you know the humdrum of like going to your nine to five or 
you know, just like, um, what is it called? Yeah, the day, your daily humdrum, like your daily routine, like where you just, you get up, you go to work, after work you go to the gym or something, you come back, you make yourself some dinner, shower, go to bed. Instead of just doing that, like plan something out, like, or like, you know, take yourself out to other places, like maybe instead of ordering, you know, DoorDash or something, you actually go and you take yourself out to a restaurant, you know? It doesn't have to be nothing fancy or anything like, you, you know, a whole sit-down restaurant. You could go to, like, go grab something to go or whatever and then go sit in a park and eat your food and eat your dinner and just and maybe enjoy the sunset or just, you know, eat and watch your surroundings and just ground yourself at the park or you know, find yourself like a nice little cafe and stuff and just chill out. Like it, it could be some, something so simple, you know, something so simple like that. It doesn't have to be nothing too fancy. Um, like I, like I was saying, like a whole vacation it doesn't have to be that. Um, I'm going to read for you guys the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and then the Princess of Swords as well. Because um, I feel like there's a message there. So, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Lack of motivation brings out the worst in the Knight of Pentacles. Without a reason to keep striving, the Knight of Pentacles produces a growing list of missed opportunities. Becoming increasingly uninterested in, un in employment, personal growth, and travel isn't uncommon. Money problems rapid rapidly approach when the Knight of Pentacles have lost their way. Yeah, see, like exactly what I was saying. Like you need to get your, you need to start doing more stuff. Like stop getting like you not striving to do anything is only making is only going to make things worse like feeling like i don't want to say like stop throwing yourself a pity party because it's like i don't really feel like you're that's what you're doing but it's like i feel like you're kind of having an attitude of like why bother and it's like there is a reason why like there's a reason why you need to get yourself out um granted you know i recommend doing things within your you know your financial constraints there's ways to do things that like do fun things that like without breaking your budget um but yeah but i feel like if you don't you're just going to have even more money problems <laughs> or something um but let's see, the Princess of Swords. Innovative and unique unique views are brought to you by the Princess of Swords. If this relates to a person you know, be open-minded to their ideas, no matter how unconventional. You can learn more from them than meets the eye. Their ability to explore and discover new concepts or plans is what makes them so special. But beware that some problematic circumstances may arise from their risk-taking, in which the Princess of Swords faces a rude awakening. Be curious and naive. Being curious and naive may open some doors, but also make you bump your head every now and then. So what I take from that is like, there might be somebody that comes into your life or something like that like maybe a friend maybe lately you've been rejecting like your friend's invitations to go to certain places i say you know start accepting some of those and some of those um <laughs> some of the invitations and you know going with them um Sorry, the song that just started playing is um, Come Get It by by Tink, which is y'all's song has just been, songs have just been very sexual, but um, but literally, 
the first line in the song is send me your location and I'll be on my way and I feel like that's just like the kind of mood that you need to be in in like these next couple weeks or months or something is like like oh you guys are going out the going out to this place send me the location i'll meet you there um yeah i feel like that's just the approach that you need to start oh excuse me start taking is like getting yourself out there more and not not in the sense of like oh putting myself out there like for dating and stuff like just simply going out enjoying life um just doing stuff for you i feel like that's just the energy of like be i feel like because you're not doing that that's lit that's more of the reason why you have such a blockage in your life is because you need to start doing more things for yourself and just for the simple fact of like this is what i enjoy this is what i love doing this is what makes me happy yeah so let's pull some final advice from spirit spirit any final advice for group three Emotions are running high and ask yourself if it is worth it. We've got a good time, socialize and celebrate life, <laughs> literally, and your inner world is safe, embracing all your emotions to create a state of flow. Here's what Spirit's advice. This is very clear. Your emotions are running high right now. Is it worth stressing yourself over? Is this... Start asking yourself, is this really worth stressing myself over? Or is there something that I could be focusing on more? Which Spirit is saying... You could be for focusing more on having a good time. <laughs> like, literally, like, not stop stressing about, like, will I find love? Am I going to find love in time? Like, stop stressing about that. Like, love is going to come when it's meant to, which I, ugh, sounds like such bullshit. But it's, but it's like, when you are meant to find it, it will find you. And that, that can only be, like, I feel like you're just not in a place where love should be so important in your life. Especially when you could be finding love in other places. Like, are you, you know... Are you nourishing the platonic relationships in your life right now? Like, do you show your friends enough love? Do you show, if you have a good relationship with your family, do you show your family enough love, you know? Like, are you fostering those relationships? Or are you so focused on having like a romantic relationship that those ones have been left to the wayside? Um, maybe that's what Spirit is asking you to do right now. It's like, hey, you've got things to celebrate right now. And you know, love can come to you at any time, but like some of these relationships in your life, you know, these platonic relationships, you know, you could be losing something really good if you're so focused on everything else, like what's going wrong. <laughs> but yeah, embracing all your emotions to create a state of flow. You are safe. You are protected. Don't worry about like, the rest like 
these things you know the dishonesty chaser disagreements all that stuff don't worry about that focus on having a good time feel like focus on how good you feel and how good you feel around the people the people around you like your friends and stuff yeah i think that's all that i have for you thank you guys so much for tuning into this reading if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up comment down below tell me what um uh, other readings you would like to see from me um subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next video and if you're looking for a personal reading uh my etsy shop is down down below in the description box um and yeah thank you guys so much again for tuning into this reading i'll see you in the next one